Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a big curly hair tutorial. This was highly requested considering I have recently changed the way that I do this and my curls have definitely improved quite a bit. A couple of weeks ago or around a month ago my curls had totally lost their definition so I'm also going to be showing you guys how to make your hair look curlier naturally as well. Just to give you guys all of my tips and tricks. If you love curly videos then be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and turn post notifications on and let's get on into the video. Okay guys, so the number one tip that I would say that has really helped to bring my curls back is to wash my hair as little as possible. As you guys can see, my hair is looking pretty crazy right now, so I'm gonna go and wash it. I actually don't have any shampoos right now that I'm obsessing with, but I try to use sulfate-free shampoos, and leave-in conditioner has been a massive tip as well that has really, really changed my hair game. Using a leave-in conditioner every single time I wash my hair and leaving it in for at least 20 minutes to half an hour each time I wash has really helped to hydrate my hair and a little tip that I like to do is put a plastic bag you can use a shower cap if you have one on my hair and then I like to wrap it up and leave it in so that it can soak up all the goodness I use the banana hair mask from the body shop and honestly it's my current favorite it smells like a banana milkshake and I'm just obsessed so I'll leave that in for 30 minutes and that will really allow my hair to hydrate and I'll wash it out and then I will scrunch up my hair with a microfiber towel that is also something that I've switched up and that has really really helped to reduce frizz and also reduce breakages as well. A microfiber towel doesn't have as much of I guess a coarse rough texture to it so I really like to scrunch up my hair once it's really wet and as you can see already my curls are forming and I just found that this has really helped and changed a lot. So I'll just do this until my hair has got the majority of the water out. I like to flip my hair around and just make sure that everywhere is evenly kind of just like got all the water out. Obviously it's not gonna be dry. And next we're gonna be applying product into my hair. I cannot tell you guys how important it is to apply the correct products into your hair. I'm first of all using this Moroccan styling cream and this just, okay, this smells amazing, just gotta say, and it's really inexpensive, so I don't mind using too much of this. I've gotta say maintaining curly hair is definitely more expensive than maintaining like straight hair. Some of the products can get really pricey but this one's really inexpensive. So I do the same thing as I used to do in my older videos. I just like to scrunch this product through my hair but I can definitely say that me changing up the products that I use has really helped as well because the products that I use now are a lot more hydrating and my curls are a lot softer rather than hard and crunchy which I personally prefer and it just makes it easier to maintain on the days to come as well because you can repeat this process over and over and your hair doesn't feel hard. So once I've applied a good amount of that product into my hair and it's applied all evenly, I will go in with a, another curl cream and this one instead is from a brand called Diva Curl and honestly this brand is so so good for curly hair, honestly. It's a little bit more pricey, um, I get mine off Amazon but it really has helped a lot. So I apply this into my hair as well before I go in with my hair dryer with a diffuser. Now a diffuser is really good because it helps to dry your hair, um, but it doesn't blow too much air. I guess so that it prevents frizz and I really like using a diffuser now. I started using a diffuser again a couple of months ago and I still found that even using a diffuser but not using the right products and hair care I guess routine it wasn't really doing much for my hair and my hair still wasn't curling so it definitely goes hand in hand. A diffuser alone isn't enough. You really need to take care and really hydrate your hair if you want to see a difference in your curls. Now when I say that um, you can get curly your hair naturally obviously it does help to have texture in your hair anyway. I'm just saying that whatever your hair texture is, if you follow this kind of routine, you're definitely going to see a lot more wave or curl to your hair. Unless you have dead pin straight hair, this should allow your hair to look like it's got more texture. Obviously everyone's curl pattern is different and if you do have a really straight hair texture then this might not be the hair video for you. It's just if you have some type of curl or wave. So what I like to do next is part my hair roughly in the middle. It doesn't need to be actually. Um, but I like my hair to kind of be even on both sides and I go in with the Red Ken Curvaceous Cream. I used to use this years ago and I forgot how much I loved it and when I started using it I really noticed such a difference. This is the last product that I like 
like to put in my hair before it's totally dry and I just find that it really helps to define the curls. So this is great to do when my hair is getting to that semi-dry phase. Um, so I like to just scrunch it through my hair whilst my head is upright and I will scrunch it and then I will go back in with my diffuser. And also something else to know um, that I just want to let you guys know is that using less heat on my hair has definitely helped as well. If you don't follow my vlog channel or my social media you wouldn't know that I've actually been on a heat band for a whole month so I basically didn't use any heat on my hair apart from the lowest setting on my hair dryer so it's super low it feels like literally lukewarm air um, so it's not enough to I guess damage your hair it's really really low um, if you really wanted to go on a total heat band you could even cut that out but I just found that cold air wasn't doing anything for me so I used the I guess lukewarm setting so yeah using less heat has really helped my curls to come back as well and my curls to look some of the best it's ever been which is amazing um, and I don't go in with a curler anymore to just I guess define random pieces because I didn't want to go in and I guess ruin my natural curl pattern I just want my hair to be naturally how it's meant to be so then I will take off the diffuser and I will just use the hair dryer on the roots of my hair to give my hair more volume um, and I kind of just prefer it to be more volumized rather than just super curly and I will kind of just like pull apart little curls and just mess around with my hair and that is pretty much what I do it's a lot more simpler as far as the actual drying routine um, but as you can see the curl pattern is just looking insanely better to what it did a month ago here's what my hair looked like a month ago and as you guys can see it looks a million times better and I'm just so happy I guess with the results of me using less heat and also just this whole routine on my hair. I really hope you guys found this helpful. If you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below any tips you have for anyone with curly hair or anyone that's trying to make their hair look as curly as possible if their hair might not be the curliest texture. There's definitely ways and following this kind of routine can help you even if it doesn't end up looking exactly like mine it's still gonna help. Anyway guys I love you so much and I will see you all in my next next one. Bye guys!